Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show the differences between Speechello and Speechello Pro. As I have talked in other videos about Speechello, Speechello is actually a really good software that can help to do the text-to-speech audios, to create a audios. It's another one that I also recommend. Basically, and especially, I actually recommend that having the Speechello Pro will be even better. And these are the reasons, because they will have more voices and here in their page here we can see the table of the difference and the main one it's having more voices for example here we will have the list of languages but inside that we'll have some of the pro voices but here in some cases they will still be the robotic ones and in other cases and in other languages there will be the artificial intelligence voices if we see here in the artificial intelligence voices, here we have these pro voices. I'll show these previews. Hi, I'm Summer. I am a native English speaker. Hi, my name is Andrew. I am a native English speaker. Hi, I'm Rachel. I am a native English speaker. And they will vary according to the languages that are chosen. For example, here only in the normal or the speech of the normal, we will only have these voices that are not set for the pro. But once you have the pro version, you can select them and even use to type the text that you need. Let's listen, for example, here in the case of French. Salut. Mon nom est fini. Je suis de langue maternelle française. And compare it with a normal for speechello. Salut, mon nom est Thierry. Je suis de langue maternelle française. Salut, mon nom est Suzette. Je suis de langue maternelle française. And we can be searching out, but in the case of French and also from the Spanish from Spain, from the Castilian, they only have the artificial intelligence voices for the Speechello Pro. Let's listen to this preview. Hola. Mi nombre es Alicia. Soy un hablante nativo de español. So that's one of the main difference, the number of voices that you can use. Another one is to have and create longer voiceovers. For example, here the limit in the Speechello Normal is up to 5,000 characters and once with the Speechello Pro. And if you want to create longer audios at one time, then now with the Speechello Pro, you have the limit set up, up to 20,000. Another difference that I want to show, it's about the monthly limit that it's actually not shown directly here on the main page, but it's on the frequently asked questions. It's about the monthly limit, about the use of the characters. And they say that for state as to having a fair use of the software, they have a limit for the standard version of 500,000 characters per month. And in the case of the Pro, they also have a 70,000 characters per month. So it's not kind of an, an unlimited usage of the text-to-speech software, but in case of you're a heavy user, it's a thing to be aware of. And also, if you have created some audio, you can add some background music in case that you want to directly edit the audio file and you can be searching for a nice background music that you would like to add to the audio that it was generated. But also, in this case, for example, if you have some other licenses, like for example, I have talked about the Mato Elements, Story Blocks, or even the free music libraries from YouTube or for face from Facebook, you can do actually the mix of the audios in your own software. But that's also the another use of the Speechella Pro. And in case of the dialogue videos that you want to merge audios, you can select the different audio that you have created and in by merging them you will also be mixing the voices so let's do a test about this merge audios so i will use 
for example, this male voice. I generate the voice. We have here the voice, the first one. So let's select another one, the female voice. And we will generate the voice. Now we have the two voices from the male and female voices, and we can merge them. And let's listen to the preview. Hi, I am Andrew. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Today is a sunny day. And you can be creating kind of these dialogues. And also for the campaign support, if you want to create different audios for different purposes, you can be creating new campaign. And in this way, you can be ordering the audios and not just having all the files in one part. And to finish, you will have the commercial license, another aspect to be considered when you have the pro. Here also, again, in the FAQ section is the question that if you get a certificate and the answer for getting a certificate, it's actually, they don't deliver one. They just have a register, a registration of their commercial users on the records. And once you purchase the pro version, your license allows you to use the audios for commercial purpose. So simply use it as it is. So that's another difference between speech standard and versus Speechelo Pro that it's worth knowing. So if you have some questions or more comments about the difference, or if you're also looking for alternatives for the text-to-speak software, you can check out also my other videos where I also talk from Takia for my own text-to-speak software. I do think that from among the, the text-to-speech software that are available online, there will some that have their advantages and disadvantages, but of course they all support or help to create useful audios. I hope that this video helped you. If you have some questions or more comments, don't hesitate to write them. Thanks for watching.